your thoughts on this Rolling Stone statement? So many. Um, and as somebody who was cooperating with Sabrina on the article, I, I think right now there's this immediate rush to judgment, and I don't want that, that it's a chilling effect that all rape all people who say they've been raped are liars. Here's what I think. I believe Jackie's story, mm -hmm. but let me tell you, I think that in any sort of trauma, there are going to be discrepancies. For example, I thought I was raped by one man that night. It turns out I was raped by three. I can only remember the one. And so I, I think we need to be really careful. Um, I see why Rolling Stone did what it had to do, but I think that the report is important, and I think the best thing right now for, not for everybody, but for Jackie, I think that Jackie needs to sit down with Police Chief Tim Longo of Charlottesville so there can be an investigation. Right. And I think there needs to be some transparency. And I just want to remind our viewers, Liz, of your story. Um, you um, were gang raped in the early 80s as a student at UVA. Um, so I want to give you a, the attorney statement from Phi Kappa Psi. They said the fraternity where the alleged rape happened tells CNN there was no party on the night of the victim, claimed she was attacked, and there are records to prove it. Do you believe it, Liz? You believe that statement? No, actually, there there is no such thing as a record of parties at fraternities. There's mm -hmm. just no such thing. And I think part of the reason, too, I, and, and I just talked to my husband about this. He's like, no, you just, you know, you don't, there's no public knowledge of that. And sometimes these parties are actually sort of informal in nature and grow. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing is we used to have a yearbook called Corks and Curls where you can actually go through and identify photographs. There's not even a website for Phi Kappa Psi that lists members. It's almost like it's a secret society. That's what's changed from 1984 to now. So I think before we all rush to judgment that the whole thing is a sham, no one knows. I mean, why, why, what would she have to gain to make something like this up? Believe me, I would much rather be on here talking to you about finding a cure for cancer than being known as a professional rape victim. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and, and that's absolutely something that we've been seeing online about this is what does she have to gain and I want to read to you a tweet from Peter Suderman she's a, he's a senior editor at Reason magazine he tweeted this by not taking basic steps to check its shocking story Rolling Stone just made things much worse for rape victims Liz what do you think about that absolutely and that's why I did not agree to be on camera I have been sobbing my eyes out since this came out I don't want this to completely damage the movement and the progress we've been making that's just so unfair. So I think that what I say to all victims, whether they report or not, I don't want them to be disheartened now, but you can tell that we are. It's just we need to just sort of take a step back and see where this goes. And I don't want people to not believe rape victims. But unfortunately, that's what's going to happen. And I want people to think about it before, like, the whole thing erupts into a volcano of, you know, she's a liar.